idea of angels is contradictory. Really, is it? Is it really? I am the voice of the angelic realm. People have different views, different opinions. They don't work, even when they claim to be channeling directly these beings. They actually have them overshadowing them. We have been warring amongst men for millennia. And they still contradict each other. Oh, different levels, different vibrations, different levels of consciousness. When you understand you are ha you had a feeling about that regarding your understanding, and through the creator's allowance, you perceive more. Yeah, that must be it. Or... You're talking absolute shit again. I mean, isn't that a possibility? They're full of shit. And why should you be expected to refute every single crackpot theory as if it's somehow valid? The Ark of the Covenant, or one of them, is under CERN. They think it's valid because, hey, I believe in it. And it's like, hey, refute that. And it's like, no. You're talking absolute shit again. And, yeah, as a result, why should I bother going into detail with your quacky little belief just because you've got a little quacky little belief? It's like, oh, yeah, I've got homeopathy um, plus herbalism. And it's like, well, yeah, herbalism, largely refuted. Homeopathy, completely refuted. So why bother doing a combined video covering herbal homeopathy? I expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. It's pointless. So much of it is repetition anyway. Other people have done the work for you. Other people have done the work out there. It's been heavily refuted. How many psychics and mediums have been utterly debunked, but people don't want to accept it. So they end up saying, well, you refute it then. Yeah. Why bother? Better things to do. Should I do a whole load of videos about a particular issue, a very specific issue, or should I simply let it lie? I mean, if it's something that I've focused on in the past, something worth focusing on, some kind of figure, and this is why you focus on individuals in some cases, not simply broad, overarching ideas, is because it's good examples. Good examples to refute the subject to some large degree, to point out the errors in the belief. For the majority of people here on Earth, death is such a liberation that you would give it to yourself. If you were suffering, you would give it to yourself. I don't have a problem with them. I have a problem with their practices. And that's why I criticise them. Because I see their practices, their ideas as being false. And it's worth responding to that. I may as well be doing videos where I simply, well, respond in general to a movement, an idea, a practice. And in that way, I'd probably achieve the same sort of goals. But using real-world examples as opposed to hypotheticals is a good way of expressing the points involved. But you're not going to respond to every single point. Look what she's saying now. Oh, look what Patrick John Coleman has been saying now. So the men in black murdered me, but aliens brought me back to life. And it's like, well, yeah. Maybe you've got to do other things. Go out there and, you know, do other stuff. Consider other ideas. And not simply get stuck in a rut. It's about the ideas, the stupidity, how you can overcome that stupidity and really move forward in your life. Because that's the important thing. But helping people to move beyond ridiculous and potentially harmful beliefs. Yes! I'm happy to be nuts. I am the voice of the angelic realm. We have been warring amongst men for millennia. If that, th if that trine were actually Jehovah, Satan, and Lucifer. Who... You're talking absolute shit again. What, what does that mean? In the name of Jesus, you be made whole by the power of God. I am the voice of the angelic realm. There was an entire panel of beings, Arcturian beings, who even chose the way I would look in this life. <laughs> this is the other thing. The Ark of the Covenant, or one of them, is under CERN. Are you trying to tell the young people of today that, and they won't believe you? It's best not to dwell on such minutiae.